Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Ostrich Vox, and with the Diamonds now aware that Steven possesses the gem of Pink Diamond, it ushers in a brand new era of Steven Universe. I mean, the two big antagonists seem to now be on Steven's side. While I don't think we're gonna see the Diamonds donning stars anytime soon, and who knows if Steven's gonna try to talk them down on colonizing planets, I don't think, as long as they're acting on their own free will, that they'll try to threaten the Earth or hurt Steven anytime soon. This opens up a whole new world. No, a whole new universe of possibilities. And it all has me thinking, are we gonna see the restoration of the Galaxy War? Something that has not been touched on in years since I believe season two, where Paradox kidnapped Steven in hopes of him fixing the warp, and at last made a proper appearance in the episode Same Old World, correct me if I'm wrong, the Galaxy Warp is what links Earth directly to Homeworld. No ships, lions, or pink zombies needed. And despite its temporary revival in Warp Tour, it's once again remained inactive since. Now from a narrative standpoint, it was obviously an easy way to prevent Steven from going directly to Homeworld, or for any Homeworld gems to just invade Earth. Which was the Crystal Gems' biggest fear, but realistically, yeah, it was the former. It would just stop Steven from going directly to the Diamonds. But now that he's on their side, aside from White Diamond, who may or may not be the next big antagonist, I think it's a logical step that we could see Steven return to homeworld a bit more frequently. And I think it would be tedious on the show's end to always have him take a spaceship. Assuming everything does go well with Elise, Jello, and Blue, who's to say he won't always be walking on homeworld with open arms? If that's the angle the Truniverse goes for, I think it's time for the galaxy war to be fixed permanently. And again, think of all the possibilities. Homeworld itself is just beginning. We can finally see actual colonies from yellow, blue, and white. It felt like since the show danced around the diamonds for so long, by extension, they were dancing around their society. And well, yes, Steven being on a hollowed out planet could be traumatizing depending on the angle they go for. I still think it's something the show should cross off its checklist, a necessity to really flesh out the world and actually see it, not just hear about it. A basic rule of storytelling is show, don't tell. And if a potential upcoming storyline is Steven trying to convince Yellow, Blue, and White that colonization isn't the answer, properly seeing a diamond colony for the first time, or even the potential beauties of the spires and other structures made would be vital in the Diamonds and Steven seeing eye to eye. And if there's a galaxy warp on Earth, you know, an intended colony, then logically there would be warp paths on every single colony leading to homeworld which, once again, we should be able to see more of now. I mean, since the zoo arc in season four, we have been in space the most amount of times we've ever been since the show began. It only makes sense they would continue that momentum from here. More and more, Steven Universe is shifting from an Earth-based story to a galaxy, universal-based story. And I believe it's only gonna get more and more wild from here. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I wanna hear yours. What do you think? Could we see the galaxy war be prepared? Should it be? Would you wanna see a complete gem colony? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or tweet them directly to me at Ostrich Vlogs or at The Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. If you want to help The Roundtable grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks that have your name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vlogs, out. Ah.